Dear white people, I love you. Welcome to Unifier TV, where truth has no fear. Yes, white people, I love you. Just like everyone should. And just like you should love yourself. You have nothing to apologize for. Now, why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing it up because there's this horrible, ridiculous, ignorant stigma that white people are automatically the enemy because they're white. So let me speak directly to white people right now. You are not the enemy. You are not the oppressor. You are not enslaving black people. You are not an automatic oppressor because you are born white. Have you ever owned slaves? Have you ever called a black person the N-word with such spite that you just hope they died right after you said it? Have you ever failed to hit your brakes when a black person was crossing the road? Have you ever bought a whip so when a black person comes by your house and selling anything, you can use it on them? Have you ever tied a noose, slung it over your shoulder, and headed out to work? If you say no to any of these things, then you are not an oppressor. You are not a slave owner, and you are not a white supremacist. Do you have any sheets at home with eyes cut out? Eye holes cut out? I, I don't. If you you don't? Oh, I thought I thought all white people did. Got to do my research. Anyway, that's the stigma. It's a very ridiculous stigma. I don't stand by it. I don't believe in it. And I think it's complete garbage. White people are not the enemy. Okay? White people are not here to oppress us. White people aren't here to enslave us. Now, with this whole idea of ending racism, it's a very impossible thing to do because racism exists on every end of the spectrum. There are not just racist white people. There are not just racist black people. There are not just racist Mexican people, Asian people. There are people in every single race that seems to feel the need to classify people by their race rather than their gender, rather than uh, what they've done or who they are or anything else. A lot of people stick with that white people, black boy, white boy, Asian boy, Mexican boy. Some people are like that. That doesn't automatically mean they're racist, but there are racist people in every race who like being the way they are. So this whole idea of ending racism, you're chasing your own tail. That's never going to happen. You can't end racism. That's just like ending abortions. That's never going to happen. There's a black market for everything. It's like ending school shootings, ending uh, gun violence, ending violence as a whole. That's impossible. You can't do it. Just like there's a black market for guns, there's a black market for violence. There's a black market for abortions. There's a black market for everything. There's a black market for racism. Everything that's not done mainstream, there's an underground way to do it to where it may seem less noticeable, but it still does damage. There's a black market for everything. And no black market is not a racist term. Let me get that out there before somebody says that. I'm surprised it hasn't been said yet. I'm surprised Black Friday is still allowed. I don't. It, we'll see how long it takes for that one. This may be the year. So my thing is this. White people are not the enemy. White people in my life, in my experience, I'm 33 years old. I've gone through 30 plus years of white people treating me 10 times better than black people. I don't know if it was in the area I was living in. I don't know if it's because I talk the way I talk and they say I'm square. I used to wear skate shoes and studded belt buckles. I mean, I mean, studded belts with big belt buckles on them. Um, I like cowboy boots. I don't own any yet, but I like them. I plan on going to Cavenders as soon as I can. But my thing is, what? why does that make me any different than any other black person? I'm just who I am. If you choose to be a thug, you choose to live the street life, or you choose to just live the way you are, you want people to respect you for who you are. However, when you're a black person that chooses to, to speak uh, eloquently, um, to listen to a certain kind of music, to dress a certain way, and to vote a certain way, you're a sellout. So the hypocrisy definitely comes a lot from the left. I say like 90%. But that's a whole other story, and I digress. I digress. So my issue comes in majorly when we want to ostracize white people and treat them the ways that we say they're treating us. Fairness is a two-way street. You cannot oppress white people and say, oh, it's revenge, it's payback. That makes you look exactly like what you think they see you as. You're very ignorant. So all that buy black owned, buy black, black only, how is it any different than a whites only fountain? How is it any different than stick a sign in your window that says 
no colors allowed, like in a movie life. Good call, but I kind of lost, lost my appetite when I came in here. My appetite just left. You, you Good afternoon, hungry? Billy. Uh, we'd like some coffee and a couple of slices of pie. Hey, how do you know my name is Billy? Well, it says it right there on your shirt. If you boys can read so good, how come you missed that sign on the door over there? Oh, that sign on the door that we just, how come we didn't see that sign and say no colors allowed, Chloe? We just rushed in, we was really hungry, so we kind of missed that, but look, we see it now, so bye. Look, Come man, on, man we've been traveling all day. Yeah, let's go. All we want is some coffee and a couple of slices of pie. Is that all right? No, these are whites only pies. But do you have any Negro pies? There's no different. There's no different at all. If you're so busy trying to bridge the gap and try to unify people and try to erase these color lines, then it should probably start with you first, black people. It should start with you first. If you say that you're looked at a certain way, why don't you start the trend then? If you say you're looked at a certain way and you're ostracized from society and you're being enslaved and you're not given a chance, what good does it do and what does it help for you to ostracize white people in return? Someone has to bridge the gap. But I really don't think the gap needs to be as bridged as people think it does. We are really we really don't have that much to fight about. If anything, the biggest thing to fight about today is probably politics and abortion. That's not even worth fighting about. Politics maybe. But abortion laws, that's a whole nother topic and I'll address that in a different video because I can probably go 20 minutes on that. I'm not going to get into that right now. But I'll close and say this. White people, I love you. Black people, I love you. Hispanic people, I love you. Asian folks, I love you. Whatever race you are, say your race. I love you. Okay, I love everybody. I can get along with anyone of any race, of any walk of life, no matter what you do, whether you're a street thug, whether you're a politician, whether you're a doctor, lawyer, an attorney, whether you're the local dope dealer. Now, I'd rather not talk to you guys because you're guilty by association. I don't want that problem. But other than that, I can do, I can do with anybody. So I think we all need to learn how to get past the media, get past the color lines that we ourselves paint before our eyes. And if you have been treated disrespectfully, whether you're black, white, whatever, don't, don't lean on that. Don't hold on to that as a reason to treat other folks differently and to have that chip on your shoulder because it's not going to help anything. Not everyone is the same way. If you really were to count on both hands how many times something like that has actually happened to you, I guarantee you it's less, less often than you actually truly realize. I don't think we're dealing with a racist society. I really don't. We're not in that time of society anymore. We're past that and we need to let it go. So, hey. 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 Hey, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please share. If you enjoy my content and you want to see more, this has actually been brought to you by BioTrust. BioTrust Ageless Glow Cream is not just for old folks. If you're young and you care about your skin like I do, <laughs> uh, my skin isn't just glowing from this selfie light. I take care of my skin. As I said before, I do like to uh, be careful about what I put on my skin. And BioTrust is the most clean product, the most trustworthy product you can find out there. So if you care about your skin and you want to continue looking young, ch check out BioTrust Ageless Glow. I mean, I'm not old, but it's already done wonders for me. So the link will be in the description. Catch you on the next one.